Hello, welcome back to the next lesson in the Cisco SD-WAN lab setup. And if you are new to the channel and this is your first time, welcome. My name is Roger Perkin. I am CCIE based in the UK and I'm building a Cisco SD-WAN lab based on the Viptela technologies. And if you are following along in the series, well, uh, welcome to the next lesson. Um, just to recap, we've got all the controllers set up in the last lesson. We did the uh, certificate set up for these, um, but in today's lesson, I'm going to put the certificate onto the VEdge device and then put the basic config to get the VEdge joined into the vManage controller. So what I need to do to get the certificate onto the VEdge device is we're going to use SCP and we're going to fire the certificate down to the VEdge device. Now to do this we go into vManage and I'm going to drop into the vShell and if I ls-o you can see all the files I've got the certificates this is what the one I want root ca.pem and I need to fire that down to Uh, 1.1.1.22 is my vEdge device. So this is vEdge 3. And if we go into the vShell on that one, you can see there's no files there at the moment. So back into vManage. So I'm going to scp the file rootca.pem to admin at 1.1.1.22. And this is where the file lives. Or it's going to be put. So now we have to accept the RSA, put the password in. Oh. Okay, so that's done. That's fired the certificate. So if I go back to VEdge 3 and do an ls minus l, you can see now I've got root ca.pem. So I've just sent the certificate down to this device. Now we've done that, we need to drop out of the V shell and we have to run another command. And that one looks like this. So that's request root cert chain install and then the location of the root certificate. And that successfully installed the root certificate chain. And then the final step is to do this. So we have to do request the edge cloud activate. And now we need the chassis number of our vEdge cloud device. Now this is a bit different. If you're doing this on hardware, um, you have to pull out the burnt in certificate and the seal number. You register that with Cisco and when you fire the device up, it will join. But for the lab setup here, we are having to use the VEdge cloud devices and I need to find the chassis number. So if I go into my vManage and then go into configuration and devices. So I've got a couple um, devices here ready. So I'm going to take the chassis number of this one and that goes in there and now it wants the token I take the token I have that's a long I take that and paste that in okay so that's um, put all the information in there that I need to register. Now we need to just put the basic configuration in for the vEdge device, just, that it, just so it can get connected. And the basic information is the host name, which we've got in the system IP. Uh, system IP for this one is gonna be 10.0.100.5. Sorry, I have to drop into system and then system IP 
10.0.100.5. Then the site ID. Now the site ID for this um, is this one here. So that's site ID 2. And the organization name is lab 1. Same for the SP organization name. And then the most important bit, vbond, is 1.1.1.3. Exit from that one. Now I'll just commit this. Now if you do show control connections, this will show you if anything's connected. Now we're not showing any connections, so it's not making any attempt to connect. And the reason for that is that on the, uh, where are we? The interface here, VPN zero, interface GE0 slash zero. This is my interface pointing up to vManage. I need to make this a tunnel interface and make it encapsulation IPsec. Now, now if we do show control connections, we've now got connectivity going up to RV manage and if we go back into vManage and go into the main dashboard we should see that I've now got another device so this, I've got two deployed at the moment need to be a little bit patient so this is just making the connection, so let's try that again, show. Oh, that one's gone down. So can I get ping 1.1.1.1? Yep, so I can ping. Yep, I can ping both devices. Okay, now we're looking a bit better. Refresh the dashboard. Okay, we're just going to drop across to configuration and devices. And you can see here that my VH Cloud device, the token's been taken and it's naturally um, in sync so it's starting to sort itself out so it's in sync um, I've got some out of sync configurations on my other devices but you can see now uh, it has joined up and it's got site ID 2 here's the system IP now if we go back into the main dashboard it's still saying I've got Oh no, here we go, full WAN connectivity. I've got two sites up. So we've got VEDGE 1 and VEDGE 3. So that is working all as planned. So that's how to get the VEDGE device up. And in the next lesson, then I'll start to look at templates. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can be notified of new videos as I post them. So have a great day.